and sisters, we all know human development. When the child is born, is given milk. When the child starts growing, you can give smashed food. And when the child has de developed teeth, you give solid food. And when the person has fully grown, he or she can even have strong things to chew. That is human development. That is the same thing in our faith. We start as young in faith. And as we grow, we come to realize many things. There is only so much that people can learn at a certain stage of their lives. The great truth of life takes a long time to absorb. This is certainly the case with the, with the truth of our faith. We enter those truths gradually over time with experience. Jesus seems to acknowledge that in this morning's gospel reading, he tells his disciples that he has many things to say to them, but they are not yet ready to hear them. He says, there would be too much for you right now. Jesus declares that the paraclete, the Holy Spirit of truth, who will be sent to them after Jesus' death and resurrection, will begin to reveal these things to them and will lead them towards the complete truth. My dear brothers and sisters, Sometimes we do have many people who come to ask us questions about the faith, about what is happening in the church, what is happening in the world. But we need the spirit of truth, the paraclete, to enlighten us so that whatever I'm going to speak, whatever I'm going to share, is fit for that person. Not everything which comes out from us can benefit other people. Some things might scare them. Some things might make them stronger. But we have to know at what stage is this person in faith. The Holy Spirit is given to us all to lead us to the complete truth, the truth about Jesus, the truth about God and our world and ourselves too. This is a lifelong journey. Indeed, there is a sense in which we never attain the complete truth in this life. We are always on the way. My dear brothers and sisters, we can never really afford to say, I have the complete truth. Rather, we must always leave ourselves open to being led by the Spirit ever more closely towards the complete truth, towards the one who said of himself, I am the truth. Do we always open up to the paraclete? We are all waiting for the paraclete, the Holy Spirit. But do we open up to the Holy Spirit? 
Do we take a time to reflect? We all received the Holy Spirit, but is the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, working in our souls? The paraclete has to be the teacher to teach us the true meaning of life, to teach us about our faith, to teach us about ourselves. Let us pray that we open up ourselves to the power of Holy Spirit to change us, to work within us, so that we might be filled with the power of Holy Spirit, which we are all waiting on the day of Pentecost. Thank you for participating in the digital liturgy today. The digital ministry touches the lives of many people, as does almost 80 other ministries here at OLPH. Grateful for the community that connects to OLPH through this digital forum. It's unbelievable how many people are able to access the liturgy and other events because of this ministry. Please consider supporting OLPH. All of your sacrifices help to sustain this parish and moving us into the future. Thank you very much. Keep watching.